So this section is going to talk about physical and chemical changes and properties. So when we talk about something undergoing a physical change, we mean that only the state, you know, solid, liquid, gas, or the appearance of it changes. The actual composition, the individual particles don't change. So an example here is a pot of boiling water. So here we have liquid water, and as it boils, it changes into water in the gas state, often called steam. So there is a change happening, right? It was liquid and now it's a gas. But are the particles themselves changing? No, we've got our little Mickey Mouse head water molecules here, and they're still little Mickey Mouse heads, right? The molecules aren't changing. What's changing is how they are relating to each other. So it's a physical change. The stuff is still the same. Um, you could take a piece of paper, right, and tear it in half. Did I change the paper? Well, yeah, it's two pieces now. It was one piece before. But did I alter the particles that make up the paper? No. This is a physical change. So they just move places, but they're the same. Right, the, the particles themselves don't change. They might um, just change how far apart they are. Like here, I moved you know, some of them way far from the other ones, right? Um, going into from a solid to a liquid, now they're able to slide around each other even though they're still pretty close to each other. But those individual building blocks are the same. In a chemical change, we do alter the composition of the matter. So here we have, this used to be a nice shiny iron nail. And if we were able to zoom in and look at that, we would see that it's composed of iron atoms um, arranged in this nice orderly pattern. When the when the iron rusts, when it reacts with oxygen, it forms iron oxide, and zooming in, now we see that the structure of this is changed. It's no longer just iron atoms. There are iron atoms and oxygen atoms, right? So the composition of the material has changed, so this is a chemical change. In a physical change, you know, you might cut a log in half or smash a wire or something, but it's still the same stuff. So here we have um, the atoms are rearranging. The atoms are still the same, but the molecules are going to be different. So this is a chemical change. So a couple of examples here. Here we have um, dry ice, solid carbon dioxide. There's a picture of it. Um, dry ice looks kind of like regular ice. Um, why do we call it dry? It doesn't melt. Regular ice, I guess you could call it wet ice, right? Because when it melts, it gets wet, right? And if you have it in your, in your picnic basket, and your sandwiches could get all soggy, right? Dry ice doesn't do that. Dry ice goes straight from the solid state to the gas state. We'll talk about how that happens later. It's kind of crazy. But here are the particles changing. No, they're not. They are still carbon dioxide molecules. It's just changed physical state, so it's a physical change. There's my friend. He's going to do it again. <laughs> Here we've got sugar. We're dissolving the sugar in water. When we dissolve the sugar in the water, it, it seems that the... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just close the door? Yeah. Would you mind closing the door? It just gets... I mean, I love talking to the train, but it gets a little distracting. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, YouTube people that watch my lecture videos go, man, there's a lot of trains. Yeah, there's a lot of trains. Um, okay, so if you put the sugar into the water and you stir it up, Oh, you just have to be very firm with it. Just yank it. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's a beast. When we stir that sugar in, it seems to disappear. We can't see it anymore, right? Did it disappear? No, it's still there. You know, you taste that. It's going to be sweet now when the water wasn't sweet before. What's happening here is the solid sugar 
is dissolving. Those particles are separating and mixing with the water, but the particles themselves, the sugar molecules, are the same. So is that a chemical or a physical change? But the particles aren't changing. So we have physical change. Because we had sugar molecules here, and we still have sugar molecules. This is the sugar molecule. Over here, they were all lined up, and they were next to each other. Over here, they're spread out, and they have water between them. But the particles themselves are the same. So if you add anything, it's not a change. So mixing two things together is generally only a physical change. Like if you take flour and salt, and you mix them together, the, the flour and the salt are still flour and salt. It's just now they're mixed. So it's changed, right? You wouldn't want to maybe bake something with that because you have way too much salt. Ask me about that at Thanksgiving pumpkin pie sometime. Mm. Um, but that would be a physical change, right? So here's an example of a chemical change. Here we have propane, um, like you would find in your um, gas grill. So the propane molecules look like this. And when the gas burns, it combines with oxygen. And those particles rearrange and make carbon dioxide and water. And so now we see that we've got water molecules and carbon dioxide molecules where before we had propane molecules. So these particles are changed, right? So that's a chemical change. In a physical change, you still have the same particles. In a chemical change, the particles change. The original substance gets destroyed, and the new substance is formed. So any questions? Um, if we talk about physical properties, a property um, is like a characteristic of something. It could be the, the smell, the taste, the color, um, what it looks like. It could be something like a melting point, a boiling point, a density. It could be the length or the width or the mass of it. You can display that substance or measure, I'm sorry, display the property or measure the property without changing the composition of the substance. So I can measure the length of this piece of paper and tell you how long it is, or I can observe the color, it's yellow, and doing that doesn't change the paper. Those are physical properties. Chemical properties, when that property is displayed or demonstrated, it, it is a chemical reaction and the original substance is destroyed. So this is things like flammability. So if you demonstrate how gasoline is flammable, just like in this picture, you don't have gasoline anymore. You've got new things because a chemical reaction occurred. So chemical properties really are descriptions of chemical reactions. Corrosiveness, acidity, toxicity are some other examples of chemical properties. So let's practice a little bit. Determine whether each change is physical or chemical and what kind of property is demonstrated. So a copper wire is hammered flat physical, because it's still copper, isn't it? We've just changed the shape. So that's going to be a physical change. And we could state that as a property by saying copper wire can be hammered flat into a wire. When we demonstrate that, it's, it's just a physical change. And so that would be a physical property. A nickel dissolves in acid to form a blue-green solution. This, is, this one's a little tricky. In general, this is kind of a good exam question, but this one is, is not obvious enough. Because we just talked about sugar dissolving in water, and we said that was a physical change. And so here we have a nickel, like a, the nickel coin, dissolving in acid. What's important here is it says to form it's making something new, right? When we dissolve the, the sugar in the water, um, we don't say to form something else, we just say it dissolves. So this was a little tricky, but a nickel dissolving in acid, this is the nickel reacting with the acid. 
and it's making a new substance. So it's going to be chemical. That's a chemical change and a chemical property. Dry ice sublimes without melting. This is kind of, why do they have this in here? We just had a picture and talk about this. So it's going from a solid to a gas. Is that physical or chemical? It's a physical change. Physical change, a physical property. A match ignites when struck on a flint. Chemical. Whenever it's a physical, it's a chemical. I mean, whenever it's a physical, it's a physical property. Whenever yeah, physical property, physical change are always together. Chemical property, chemical change, always together. Any questions? Okay, the diagram on the left represents liquid water molecules in a pan. Which of the diagrams, A, B, or C, represents water molecules after they've been vaporized by boiling? So when you boil the water, is that a chemical change or a physical change? It's a physical change. Do the particles get changed? No. no. So which one is right? A. a. Oops, I've got to pick a pen. There we go. These little Mickey Mouse heads are the same. Here, we have the same pieces, but they've rearranged. So going from here to B would be a chemical change. And going from here to C would also be a chemical change because the individual particles have changed. Any questions about that? <laughs>